Today at shopdap.com, we're gonna be going over installing a auto dimming frameless home link mirror on a Mark 7 GTI. Okay, so before we get into this install, let's talk real briefly about this particular install that we're gonna be doing today. The install of the mirror itself is super simple. There are a couple variations of this mirror. Essentially, the variations are as such for Mark 7 cars. This actually does apply to a lot of other vehicles, so I'll try to make sure we link in the description below some details to try to break down models this applies to and doesn't. Uh, for Mark 7 models, there are only two different variations. This one, uh, this variation, which is for vehicles without a rain sensor, and then the other version for vehicles with rain sensor because they use a different mount uh, or a base plate on the actual windshield itself. So what happens is, is that there's a hole in the mounting plate for the rain sensor on vehicles that have rain sensing wipers. This vehicle does not have rain sensing wipers. So we're going to be have uh, we're going to have the basic one set up. So basically, we just have this frameless mirror, the harness to power it, uh, and then that runs down to the headlight switch. So this install is going to be super simple. Uh, and so let's get into it. All right. So first, we have to start by removing our rear view mirror from the vehicle. This is actually really easy to remove, but also keep something in mind here. This is mounted to this base plate right here that mounts to the windshield. That is glued to the windshield. If you pull on this in the wrong direction or uh, have a bad angle while you're turning this thing off, you can break your windshield. So be aware that this is something that you have to be careful of. And when you're doing this, you have to make sure you don't do that. So what you're gonna be do doing is turning counterclockwise. So that's pretty simple. You're just gonna go ahead and turn it like so, and then it comes right off. So all you're doing is, is kind of getting it off this plate to turn it again, if you pull one way or the other in the wrong direction, you are definitely going to break your windshield. So be aware. Now we have to run this harness right here. This harness is what gives us power at our home link mirror. So we're gonna pop this panel off because we're gonna run it from right behind the headlight, headlight switch all the way up to the mirror. We just grab our bone tool. and pop that off. And we're gonna be running that from the headlight switch over here so we can pop this trim off right here. And we don't need to pull it out all the way, just gotta get it to clear so we have space to run our stuff up. Okay, now we're gonna take our headlight switch out, push in, turn, and now we can pull out and we're just gonna disconnect that with our bone tool. Now again, this is super, super simple. So all we're gonna do is plug in our new harness. And now we've given ourselves all the lead we need this can plug into the headlight switch. And then we're gonna feed all this wire back in, including this long lead that runs up. And now we are ready to run this up to the top. All right, so we need to run that harness up from here, up here and across the headliner. So what we're gonna do is actually pop this A-pillar off. Now you can do one of two things. You can actually remove the A-pillar completely or you can kind of pull it back and, and fish the wire behind it. Uh, the reason why VW wants you to remove this completely is because there are obviously airbags in your A-pillars, and so they want you to ensure that if you were in an accident, that you make sure that you don't have projectiles inside your A-pillar that are gonna come out at you. So, you can do one of two things. You can either remove it completely or you can just loosen it like this. The clips are completely off, but it's not completely out 
which gives us kind of the leeway we need to run our wires but without having to actually physically remove this because once you pull this up and out of here you're gonna have to make sure you kind of get it back in place properly which sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge so i prefer to just pull it out of place like this and you can secure it however you need to uh, away from the airbag itself uh, which would be if you can see here along these wires on the back here and they include zip ties with these mirrors to give you the ability to do that so as we can see here as i push this up a little bit you can see this is the airbag itself so this is what you're going to be avoiding and so as long as again you stick to that top section and you can even just zip tie it to the existing harness that's run up there you should be all set okay so here we are we have this wire all zip tied along that harness here and so we have to run it across here first we're going to pop this cover down and we're just going to pop our bone tool in there and it just pops straight down this will give us a little more clearance to work with right in front here where there's going to wires are going to cross in front now when we're going to start with getting these wires in i would start with this corner here and kind of peel it up a little bit you know remember you, you don't want to damage your headliner and you can get it started and then you can use your bone tool to work that in place all the way down the line and as you run it across it'll give you a little more opening to get that popped in and as you can see we are now at our point here where we have that set in place now what I'm going to do is pull a little bit of the slack up so that we don't have it hanging out so far And once you pull that slack, you want to just double check to make sure you haven't had any pull out of the headliner. You can re-put it back in there if you need to. And then we are going to grab our new mirror assembly. Now we only have a couple pieces left, which are pretty self-explanatory, but obviously one of them being our mirror assembly here. The next ones being this trim piece and this trim piece. These actually go to the windshield. Obviously they're going to hide, hide these wires so you don't have unsightly wires hanging out in front of your mirror assembly so what you're going to do is take your mirror assembly and you're going to have these wires these two pieces clamped together and they'll snap on here to make sure you hide the wires that run through the assembly so what we're going to do is get this felt piece there here is this uh, trim piece here and then we have this felt piece that's included this actually attaches to this plastic piece and that's going to give us the ability to make sure that this doesn't make any noises when it's rubbing against the windshield so you gonna take this peel, peel your adhesive back and mount that in place like so. So this is gonna sit against the windshield like this, again, to hide those wires. Okay, so we have our mirror assembly here. We have our felt piece we just put on here. And what we're gonna do is take that and snap it in place. You gotta get these two ears in place. And then it just snaps down around the mirror like so and now we can snap our mirror in place now as we did before it's going to rotate in place same deal going to get it mounted in place and then you're just going to turn now that we have that in place we can plug our connector in and we can get this 
wiring kind of tucked up to the best of our ability. There's a little bit of space in this assembly here. And there you can see there's a clasp here, which you can use to snap onto this connector. So now you can feed the rest straight back, which will give us the ability to now snap our trim cover in place. And you can give that a good tug just to make sure that everything's good. And we can put our trim cover back on. And now our mirror assembly is installed. All we can do is test it and then proceed with reinstalling all our panels. Okay, so now we have that all plugged in. To test it, we can go ahead and just take a look at it. There's gonna be a C for us because we're indoors and uh, it's gonna, you have to center the compass so it can't read because we're in a place where the campus, the compass can't get signal. Uh, you also can touch the home link buttons. You'll see a little home button come up on the screen here. And then we also can test the auto dimming feature, which we're going to show you what that looks like right now. As you can see, when you have light behind the vehicle, the mirror does auto dim, and which is a great feature that you would find, especially for the price, obviously, that these units are. We're gonna go ahead and button these up. Uh, the rest of it's a pretty basic reinstallation. The one that I do wanna make is when you're reinstalling A-pillar trims, you wanna make sure, especially because we had wiring in there, that when you hit these in place, that you don't pinch any wires to get the A-pillar trim back in place. So you're gonna kind of rock that back in. You're gonna have to make sure you have everything in place and then you can kind of pop that panel back in and you're all set and then you will have to make sure that it gets inside these trims of this rubber gasket here. Now that we completed our install, I want to talk real briefly about this card that VW includes with these kits. It talks about the compass and getting that all squared away as well as the pairing of the home link with your garage door opener. So that information will be found on the card that's included with these mirror kits. Again, purchases for parts like this or any others help support videos just like this one. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.